Hey everybody, Matty here with Backwoods Mindset. Um, I know it's kind of, okay. it's kind of windy, but uh, we're out here. There's my three. There's Frank's three. There's Frankie, and I'll show you what we caught or what Frank caught. So take a look here. I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you guys. Hold up a second. Got a big boy in the live well. So, so we weren't uh, catching anything until I had an idea. And somebody was nice enough to send me some more piggies, the rub. We put some of this on the shrimp we're using for bait. As soon as we put it on, they, the rods started going nuts. So we've caught a couple. Uh, <laughs> and this is what we're attributing because we weren't catching anything. Gosh, this wind's bad. We weren't catching anything. I'm behind the truck now, so hopefully this blocks some of the wind. But uh, we, were, uh, we weren't catching anything. So we put some of this on there. So I want to thank Aline, welcome to my kitchen, for sending this. And piggy spittles, um, we just just a little bit on the shrimp. You sprinkle it up, you sprinkle it up, and then you end up getting these these monsters up here. So, and as far as we know, the police officer for the town uh, where we're fishing in this tournament stopped by this back up here, and uh, he told us that it sounds like so far we're in the lead. So we will see what happens. Uh, we got like two hours and fifteen minutes left. Um, now, I haven't been recording anything because of how bad the wind's been, and I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind has been horrendous. So, um, I don't know, Frank and I are hoping we, we can win, so. <sighs> we got a while to go, and I'm hoping to get some more out here. Maybe I can show you guys catching, but I don't know. The wind's really bad, so maybe I can do it and um, kind of get a... Uh, just throw some music behind it or something. I don't know how bad the wind is on the end because I haven't watched any of the footage yet, but I think that it might be kind of bad. So we'll be back here in a little bit. Stay tuned and we'll see you in a minute. Slime out. So it's been kind of quiet here for the last uh, two hours or so, hour and a half. Haven't uh, haven't caught anything. Haven't had any bites. Uh, the only thing that we've seen caught in the past two hours was a sheephead right over here. Um, it's been really, really windy. But I rebated the holes up. That's why I haven't been doing so much bait because the wind is so horrible right now. It's either 12 and a half or 13 pounds. Um, it was kind of hard to get a good weight, but uh, we heard a rumor that somebody had a 15 pounds, so we don't know if that's true. But we're going to be finding out here because this tournament ends. And I apologize about the wind. Uh, the tournament ends in like 50 minutes. So once we get the stuff on the scale, we'll see what happens. But hoping to get another hog on here real quick. Um, hopefully it's a big one. So I got good baits out. Um, you know, me and the kids, we caught some bluegill last night. We've been using that. We've been using shrimp. Um, everybody's been catching on shrimp. So, um, and like I said, we've been using 
um, the rub that I got from Eileen, welcome to my kitchen, uh, the piggies rub. So it caught some fish. So I don't, I don't know if that maybe that's the secret sauce. I'm going to have to test this theory out further, I think. So I don't know. But um, I'll be back here in a little bit. Um, we'll see what happens um, with the at the end of the tournament here. See if me and Frank can pull it off. But stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back. I am so tired. So John Godwin was supposed to be there. This is why I named this video this. He was supposed to be at the tournament, um, hanging out, um, and he wasn't there. So when we got to do the checkout, um, they made an announcement. They apologized to everybody. He was sick. So, um, I've met him before. Um, he's an awesome person to meet. Um, and he was sick. So, um, you know, say a prayer for him. Hope that he feels better. Stinks he wasn't there. Um, you know, we hope that, you know, he can be at, um, one of the next ones that they do. Um, cause he is, he is just a great guy. Um, and he, it's, it's fun to have him around. He's, um, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, so we hope that, you know, John Godwin feels better. Um, I was a big fan of his watching him on duck dynasty. And, um, but anyways, um, we came in fourth place, um, in the tournament. Um, and, I wanted to get this video out today. Um, I don't have some of the other footage of the end of it um, or any of the pictures, but it is what it is. It was fun. We had a good time. Fourth place was pretty good. So, um, you know, if you ain't first, you're last. But today, we was in fourth place. Frank and I were. So, um, so we had some fun. I think we'll probably end up doing some more. Um, that one, this one I did last year, um, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun this time. I actually met um, somebody else that was um, talking about starting up um, a YouTube channel. Um, uh, him and a group of his buddies, they do, um, they do stuff. So... Um, I gave him my number, and we might end up doing a video together, which might be kind of neat. Um, well, it would be kind of neat. Not that it might be kind of neat, but he's another heavily bearded man. So, who doesn't live too far from me? And there's some other people I want to do videos with, too, from the Cleveland area. Chris Tackett. Um, I know, I'm sure you guys are, might have seen him in some of my lives and stuff. I want to do a video with him. I think that'd be fun. But... Um, that's all. Um, I gotta be honest with you guys. When I got home, I crashed for a couple hours. So, and I'm going live. Um, it's been a rough week for me. Real rough. I'm extremely tired. The next couple weeks here, leading up to my visit to Shoot Dang Ranch, I'm going to be trying to relax, rest as much as I can, get my work in. <clears throat> at work, uh, keep putting on my videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of studying too on some things to better myself. Um, I haven't been happy this week with the videos I've been putting out, but like, <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry there. Like I said, the last um, couple days we've been not having power and stuff like that and it just makes what I wanted to do more difficult um, and then I wasn't home all day today so tomorrow is the next Shooting Ranch customer service video um, you heard it here and as long as the power doesn't go out I will be able to do it um, now tomorrow I got some stuff I got to do in the morning it's not going to go out till um, probably around dinner time tomorrow um, for everyone. 
but there will be a Shoot Dang Ranch customer service video. Now, with that being said, I'm promising it, okay? So, if my power's out, I'm going to be taking my happy little butt over to my mom's house so that I can go over there and film it over there if I have to. I need to use my laptop. There's other things I need to use, and my laptop's been dead every single time, so I couldn't even turn it on and just use the battery. Um, so that's that's the reason why. But anyways, wanted to let you guys know, um, I know this wasn't a really overly exciting video, but we did well. Um, I'm going to post a picture here. Um, I didn't get any pictures of me with any fish. Just got one of Frank at the end. I'll leave you guys here with that picture of Frank with the fish. Um, but this was tournament day, and if it wouldn't have been so windy, I probably would have gotten more film or would have gone live at the tournament. But you guys will hear about that. Um, I mean, it wouldn't, I, there's no way I could have filmed anything or done a live, so, or filmed while we were fishing it was very very windy extremely windy so um but hope to see you in my live tonight if this comes out before which i'm kind of hoping it does hope to see you there slam home and we'll see you on the next one bye